up everybody? What's going on? Hope all y'all are doing undeniably fan for task out there. I know why I am, because tonight is AEW's new pay-per-view concept called Wrestle Dream. And folks, this week I heard a little bit of an interesting theory. I did. I heard that perhaps Tony Khan is buying New Japan Pro Wrestling. I kind of hope not. Like, it was bad enough to see Ring of Honor go under, but like, I, I, I tried giving Tony Khan's Ring of Honor a chance, but like, it just felt really watered down in my opinion. It, 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 it did to me though, it, it, it just did to me. But, um, if, if Tony Khan really is buying New Japan, then tonight is going to be the night to make that announcement happen, so, I, 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 I just don't know. I, I, I just don't know what to expect. But one thing I can expect, though, is that tonight's event is definitely going to be jam-packed with a lot of awesome action. So yeah, let's go ahead and run on some of the matches, all right? All right, first up, we have the AEW Tag Team Championships being defended by FTR's Cash Wheel and Dex Harwood, who defends against Ozzy Open. FTR's one of this match. They are. Like, I just find it weird that Ozzy Open just lost their Ring of Honor Tag Team titles, and now they're automatically going after the AEW Tag Team titles. Ozzy Open, you're not slick. Just go without belts right now. Just because you lost it to MJF and Adam Cole, doesn't mean you gotta go after FTRs. Stop it. Do better. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, FTR is definitely one of this match. Alright, next up we have Wheeler Yuta versus Ricky Starks. I don't know, I'm calling Ricky, Ricky Starks for the upset here. I am. Like, first we have, the less we say about the CM Punk situation, the better. But like, Ricky was having a feud with him not too long ago. And it did involve um, Ricky Steamboat for a little bit there. But... Ricky Starks is trying to establish himself as a little bit of a heel, it seems. And that that, that match he had with a Brand, Brand Danielson, it, it really helped him out a lot, in my opinion. So, um, like, just to establish, that, to say, hey, he's going somewhere, I, I think he should definitely beat Will Yuta tonight. He should. Alright, next up. Eddie Kingston will be defending both his Ring of Honor and New Japan Strong Openweight Championships against Katsuyori Shibata. Look, I, I, I'm proud of Eddie Kingston. I am. Like, first time I, I saw him, he was just like doing a manager duty for LAX or the revamped LAX of uh, an impact. What? No, no. The OGs, I think he was calling it, yeah. So to see him go from that to being on NWA, getting shut down during the COVID days, and then to like finally scratch and climb to get the Ring of Honor World Championship from Claudio Castagnoli of all people, good for him. I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm really happy for Eddie Kingston, I am. So, nothing against Shibata, living legend, but Eddie Kings is going to win this match. Alright, next up, the AEW TNT Championship is going to be defended in a 2 out of 3 falls match as Christian Cage defends against Darby Allen. Aw oh, man, if, if you have a dead dad, stay far away from Christian Cage as possible. Far away from him. That includes Darby Allen. Now look, the whole Luchasaurus thing, that, that kind of broke my heart. I was a big Luchasaurus fan. So, to see him, like, win the TNT Championship, only for Christian to hold it, and then for him to lose the title in a triple threat match, the way he did, just for Christian to keep holding it again, it's detestable. Christian, you're, you, you a jerk, you know that? Just, just, just a big jerk. Mm -hmm. So... As much as I would love Darby Allen to win this match, I know Christian has to. Christian being heel is good for AEW right now. It is. So, 
I, I, I'm just waiting for Christian to uh, meet negative one of the Dark Order. That's going to be fun. Alright, next up, we have ourselves a trios match, six man tag team match if you will, of Kenny Omega teaming up with Chris Jericho and Kota Ibushi to take on the team of Kondosuke Takeshita, Sammy Guevara, and Will Ospreay. I don't think anybody saw Sammy Guevara turning on Chris Jericho the way he did just to join, join the Don Cows family. Like, that whole storyline is just, whoa. And shout out to Don Cows for turning on Kenny Omega at the timing that he did it. Like, we thought MJF was a bad heel, but now with MJF turning babyface, Don Callis, he's being called the scum of the earth right now, even more so than MJF, because there's no, th th how about that, there's no teacher-like experience, and Don Callis, I'm pretty sure he's been a heel a lot longer than MJF has been alive. The, 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 that's just me from the outside looking in. But, um, I, 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 I want the Golden Lovers to win this match, I do. Yeah. I, I forgot to say that Kota Ibushi and Kenny Omega were the Golden Lovers in this tag team. But when was the last time that we would ever expect to see Chris Jericho and Kenny Omega on the same team? Look, I, I, I want to see that. Now look, all these losses that Jericho has been getting lately, it's been kind of heartbreaking. Even more so with Sammy turning, turning on him the way he did. Like, Jericho went from contemplating the Don Cow's proposal to accepting it just to find out that Don Cow's really is a stake in the grass to begin with and changing his mind. Having all the appreciation in society leave him just for Sammy Guevara to say, nah, nah, homie, we still straight. Just for Sammy Guevara going from being the only supporter to now turning his own back. Like, well, what? This sounds like Vince Wuzo booking. Like, what kind of swerve is going on here? Regardless, Kenny, Jericho, Coda, I hope they win this match. I do. Our next up, the AEW TVS Championship is going to be defended by Chris Statlander, who defends against Julia Hart. Yo, like, as much as I love Malachi Black, like, the whole House of Black gimmick, it's been... I don't know, I feel like they're kind of overdoing it in a way. Like, I wouldn't mind seeing a Malachi Black singles run. But Julia Hart, though, she's, she's intriguing me. Yeah, her, her her work is really intriguing me, but Chris Statland though I, I I've been a big fan of hers as well for like a long time since I've seen her doing the alien gimmick in Ring of Honor. <sighs> Chris Statland, she's over as heck. She just beat what people consider the undefeatable Jay Cargill, who now on the way to WWE. Sh shout out to her, but Julia Hart though like she has an awesome theme song. She has an awesome entrance. I'm digging the whole vibe. I am. But like, I I, I feel like like this is gonna be uh, Julia Hart's first defeat in like 17 months. Yeah, they they made sure to remind us of that this past Wednesday on Dynamite, saying that she has been pinned in 17 months. All right, fine. Th thank you for setting a uh, Chris Statlander up like that. She she broke Jade Cargill's undefeated streak, and now. Julia, she's been uh, on a 17-month winning streak of her own, so I guess it's her time to take this L now. Alright, next up we have Hangman Page taking on Swerve Strickland. Oh, ooh. Like, like this match is going to be highly underrated. I, 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 I think this match is highly underrated going into it. Like th This match has the potential to steal the show, I think. Um, but, but yeah, I, I, I think Swerve Strickland might be upsetting the show and winning this match. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how he's going to do it, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this one to Swerve. Whose house? Swerve's house. Alright. Next up, the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championships are going to be defended in a handicap match? MJF, Maxwell Jacob Friedman... 
is going to be taking on the Righteous. Now, I know it's Vinny Marcellia, but I already forgot the other guy's name. But, still, I'm digging the Righteous, man. You dig what I'm saying? And plus, those snaps. Those snaps are contagious. I can't help it. Vinny's got a good groove going on. And, and, and heck, I, I've been a big fan of Vinny since I seen him as a member of the Kingdom. He had a Michael, he had a Michael Myers mask as a knee pad once upon a time. Good grief! So, what? I don't know how MJF is gonna pull this off, and I, I don't know how long it's gonna take a uh, Alan Cole's ankle to heal up. But somehow or another, MJF is gonna win this match. I mean, it's gonna suck seeing MJF bury one of my favorite tag teams, but. Like, leading into this, though, like, there hasn't been, there has been very limited interaction between the Righteous and MJF and Adam Cole. Like, heck, even this past Wednesday, they had the opportunity to sell the match, but no. Instead, they had Adam Cole getting distracted by Roderick Strong, and you had MJF teasing a program with Jay White happening soon, so... But like the Righteous, they only got a video promo, and that was about it. Nothing else. So, and, and MJF is going to win this match in some way, way or another. Alright, next up. Lastly, I should say, th this feels like the main event. It might be the main event. I could be wrong, but it feels like a main event. Because Brian Danielson is going to be taking on Zack Sabre Jr. Now look, I freaking love Zack Sabre Jr. And I hate him at the same time. Because I remember watching a lot of his New Japan matches when he was a member of Suzuki Goon. And, like, just seeing his technical abilities in that ring, it made me hate him because he was, like, doing stuff that just blew my mind. Like, dude, these body parts are not meant to contort that way. Z Zachary, what are you doing? But, but now to see him in a match with Brian Danielson, like, I'm excited for this one. I am. And I know not too long ago, like, Brian said that, like, he's in the midst of his final countdown right now. So, I, I, I don't want to see him lose this match. I don't. This is going to be a pure wrestling match. I, I just know it is. So, I, I, I'm looking forward to this one. I, I'm definitely going to give this one to Brian Danielson, for sure. But, yeah, y'all. Hope all of you will enjoy the show happening tonight. Hope all of you enjoyed this episode of Ring Ramblings. And if you did, please give it a big old thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more wrestling talk. Subscribe for more wrestling content. Subscribe for more cringy material. And subscribe for more weird humor. If you're into that kind of stuff. And yeah, until next time, I love each and every one of you regardless. And make sure all of you remember to be outrageously optimistic year-round. Booyah, I'm out.